We find ourselves down here today uh, because uh, back in 2016 when uh, John Horgan, now Premier, is, was uh, rallying to become uh, leader of the NDP and, and leader of the province of British Columbia, he made a promise that if uh, he got elected, he would send the BC, uh, Site C to the BCUC where it should have went in the first place. And if the BCUC came back, the report came back that Site C was deemed not to be a good thing for BC, he would cancel it. And uh, we just found out just before Christmas that uh, he reneged on his promise. Uh, him and uh, Minister Mongol and uh, Minister Heyman both uh, stood beside Horgan and announced that they were going to move forward in Site C even after the BC UC report said it was a bad thing to do. Um, you know, we've been in this fight for 2000 and Ten, uh, longer than that, since they first opposed, uh, proposed Site C back in the 80s. Uh, it went before the BCUC twice before, and both times they said Site C is not something that uh, British Columbia needs, and they should look at other alternatives. During the joint review panel, uh, the panel themselves stated that BC Hydro did not make its case for Site C and the power was not needed. Uh, we have stated from the very beginning that we're not opposed to the creation of the energy. What we're opposed to is the destruction of the valley. There is absolutely no sense to destroy that valley in order to create this power that's unneeded. Um, there is no need for the power. Uh, they've proven that over and over. There are better cost, cost alternatives for the power. And uh, here we are, uh, once again, standing on the lawn of the legislature, trying to get our point across and, and, and pleading with the government, this, it was the uh, Liberal government, now it's the NDP government, to stop this stupid project. Um, they talk about reconciliation and upholding the terms of UNDRIP, Union of uh, United Nations Declarations on Indigenous People, and here they are breaking that promise as well. So uh, we have decided that uh, Premier Horgan donated uh, $100 and bought a steak to save the yellow steak to save the peace. Um, George Heyman did the same and Lana, Lana Popham did the same uh, because they reneged on their, uh, their vows uh, to us and the promise of uh, British Columbian people. We've come to give their steaks back and give them their money back. Uh, and uh, yeah, here we are again. Steve Gray is a member of the NDP party and he will take the checks. And uh, well, we don't need it. They need it more to, they need it more because we're going to court now. Um, <laughs> it's just, they can add this to the over expenditure of what Site C is now, um, if we can. We would like to, maybe you want to, you guys want to say some words? Share some words and do this. Sure, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, you know, it's very disappointing once again to be back here in Victoria um, still fighting a bad project. Um, you know, after all the hope that we had, go, you know, after the election and the promises and the words that were spoken in the past by the NDP and, of course, John Horgan, they did send it to the BCUC, as Chief Roland Wilson said, and we won that process. Um, you know, we all won that process. The BCUC shot that project down, showed it for what it is, and, and despite all of that, you know, Horgan decided to go ahead with this project and, and you know, so um, justice and due process has been sidetracked and here we are once again having First Nations having to go to court to fight for their rights and for all of our rights and uh, and it's just wrong and we expected a lot better from the NDP and so so anyway but we carry on so here we go uh, Chief Tacosa here I'd just like to give the stakes back to Horgan 
and all the ones that broke their promises and stuff, right? It's a shame that we have to keep fighting for our land and our water and our animals and stuff, you know, the heart where we all live and the only home that we all know, right? I mean, yeah, you can take your money and your stake back and we don't need your money. Uh, good morning, Chief Bob Chamberlain, Vice President of the Union of BC Indian Chiefs. I want to acknowledge that we're standing on the lands of the Lekwungen and the Squamalt First Nations. Uh, we're very generous all the time to allow us to come in and do the work that we must do. The Union of BC Indian Chiefs stands solidly behind the Treaty 8 First Nations in the opposition to Site C Dam. I wish Canadians... Thank you. I... I'm always wanting Canadians to understand what it means when First Nations are standing on steps of buildings such as this or on the courts. And what First Nations do is we're pointing at and demanding that the Canadian and the British Columbia government live up to its very own laws. And, and these laws are nested within Section 35.1 of Canada's Constitution, recognizing the existing Aboriginal and treaty rights of First Nations people. This section of the Constitution demands reconciliation with First Nations people across Canada. And now that the federal government and the provincial government have embraced the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, a very big significant piece of this <laughs> is free prior and informed consent. And right now, the B.C. government does not enjoy the consent of the Treaty 8 First Nations and it's time that the government live up to its commitments to each and every one of us. I believe that Canadians and British Columbians are very tired now of empty rhetoric to persuade you to vote a government in so they can forget their commitments and so they can do what they wish to do regardless of what their honor, honourable words were to have you support them. And it's clear today, by bringing the stakes back from Premier Horgan and the other ministers, to put in the lands here as a mark for Canadians and British Columbians to see that there was no honour in their words when it comes time to support the Site C Dam and to make these stakes and put them in the ground in such a beautiful territory as where Site C is being proposed. So as we go forward from here, I know that the, as uh, Chief Wilson has spoken about going to court, and I always believe it is such a sad day for Canada at a time when they portray to the world about reconciliation with First Nations people, when they have numerous and countless Supreme Court of Canada rulings giving direction to the government for reconciliation that they conveniently forget this at times such as Site C. And I think that British Columbians are going to have a very long memory about this when it comes time for the next election. Absolutely. And with the commitment to the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, I believe that British Columbians are going to be paying very close attention to how well this government embraces what the fundamental principles are there. And that recognizes the title of our people, the authority of our people to look after our environment and to look after the food sources and to look after the future for our generations yet to come. And this is only consistent with First Nations view of our lands where we draw our identity from. And when I think about the traditional resources of our First Nations people, it's more than a menu choice. It is who we are, it ties us to our lands and we're not going to be going anywhere anywhere soon and we're going to be standing up for what is just and what is right for the First Nations whose territories are going to be destroyed. And it's time now for British Columbians to rise up and understand this and to seek a level of understanding to find the way to support First Nations so we can have true reconciliation in Canada and justice for First Nations people as human beings within this country. And it absolutely breaks my heart to think that they're going to flood lands where the ancestors of the people are buried. And to me, this is nothing short of desecration of human remains. And yet the governments have 
some level of comfort amongst themselves to accomplish this. And this is utterly unacceptable to do such a thing to human remains. So I look forward to everybody continuing to stand with the First Nations that are in opposition and the Union of BC Indian Chiefs will continue to stand with the First Nations across this province in the struggles for the justice that has been denied First Nations people for far too long. Gail Kessler. Stop, 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 stop,